monster. Hey guys, Kong72 here, and today I have for you guys my first ever video featuring the T110E5 on my channel. Other than the one where I guess Navy SEAL was playing in his, but I was he was not the main focus. The main focus was the FP25B, though so he was present. And oh well, I guess he did 8200 damage as well. But um This is our first time where we get to see the T110E5 in person from the first person view, slash third person view, whichever you want to call it. And uh, we are on Kane. I am. I, I. I don't know. How do you pronounce this map, guys? Tell me. Tell me in the comment section below. I guess. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Tell me in the comment section below how you pronounce this map. I know it's French, but I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. But uh, now we're just rambling. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, right now we have a live stream going on right now. If you guys want to go check it out right now, pause the video, go check it out, or wait till the video ends, or you know, whatever. We have a live stream going on right now, right when this gets posted. Um, so if you go check that out, um, and it's over, it's because you didn't watch this when it first came out. Um, so it's gone now. I'm not live streaming anymore. But if you, this video just came out for you guys, I am live streaming right now. Go check it out if you want to have some fun. Um, thank you guys who came over to this video because of the live stream but uh yes once again thank you guys so much so we are in the e5 this is the position i like going on this map the only thing i don't like about this spot on the map is artillery is able to put shells into us very reliably but we're able to use gun depression pretty well because um we have this little lip here on this ridge like this ridge in front of us kind of it flattens out where this path is but there's still a bump in front, so we can stay hauled down here, regardless of our gun depression, really. I can use an IS-7 here as well. So yeah, this is this is a really good spot from this side. On the other side, it's a little bit harder because you don't have this flat path to sit on. But uh, it can still work from the other side, but this is the side it really works from. And so that's what we're doing now, is trying to get it to, uh, trying to use our gun depression and whatnot, stay all held down, and just putting shells in right now at first. And you notice it's a bunch of tier 8s over on this side of the map. And uh, we're hopefully going to take advantage of that as we uh, try our best to get some kills. Now, Scorpion G looks like he wants to be a little bit cheeky, but we're gonna put a shell into this guy, no, we're unable to. Scorpion G comes up, he started to come up actually before I fired, so uh, he's a little bit lucky there that my reactions were a little bit slow to him coming up. I would have been, I should have been able to hold my fire on the Chrysler and put it into the Scorpion, but we uh, were not fast enough to do that. We're not quick enough to let that process because we were focused in on the Chrysler we didn't notice Scorpion until we pulled out of our zoom but he was coming up to shoot us regardless we could have put a shell into him now I'm trying to figure out what to do now they've kind of pulled back they've given up trying to penetrate me while I'm in that position so I'm gonna go to them no I can't quite get a shot on that guy um, already is in play he nuked one of my friends for uh, he hit him for 1900 who I'm platooned with the nightmare guys so we gotta look out for him. That probably means he's not looking at us, but we still gotta be a little bit careful, just in case he is looking our way. And here comes the shell. Yes, he is looking our way. He changed, um, he changed locations on the map. I mean, he didn't move, but he moved his gun. Congratulations, sir. You figured it out. You learned how to move your gun, and he aims at us. Put a shell into the waffle there. The waffle immediately pulls back. I was kind of afraid the waffle was gonna turn and try to shoot me, but he doesn't. So we're free to maybe put another shell in? No, we're not able to put another shell in. But, you know, I, I'm i getting a little bit... You know, like, this is... Now the replay is getting a little bit slow, and I realize this, and I really want to make a play. There's all these eights, and I really want to go in there and do something to these people. 57 on my left, or my right. He fires three, so I figure, okay, I'll pull out in front of him. There's the fourth. Okay, I'm not so scared of him now. He's going to be reloading, so I'm just going to show my rear to him as I go after all these juicy, juicy eights and the Waffenbrecher Alpha 100. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, kill him as well. Our IS-7 is also going in. He's going to be shooting that Scorpion G. I would have ran the Scorpion G and then shot the uh, Tiger 2, but he instead chose to shoot the Scorpion G and then ram into his dead corpse. But, you know, whatever. There's the 57 Heavy there, and uh, we're unfortunately somehow going to bounce off his lower plate there. Not sure how that one bounced, but it did. I guess it hit his lower plate at a really awkward angle, I guess, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll, 
Um, looks like we're starting to lose this game, which is why I said, okay, we gotta get some kills. We're lose, slowly, slowly losing this game. We lost a platoon mate. We got, he got killed by a couple of Chryslers. Um, and I was worried those Chryslers were gonna come in behind me, so we're rolling and get cue epic music. I usually say the epic music's at the end of the game, but this is where the brawling starts. This is the most exciting part of the replay as we go in after these guys. So, I decided to start it now. We've got a Waffle there, a Pershing on our right, Tiger 2 on our left, another a Sheridan also on our right. We're going to finish this guy off. 57 Heavy bounces off the side of our turret. We turn for him. He pulls back. Here comes the Tiger 2. We're going to put a shell into the side of his tank. We get a little lag spike there, but the shell goes in anyway. Now, Tiger 2 is coming in. He tracks us. We're going to fix that immediately. We don't want him to get to our side. We want to keep moving. Put a shell into the side of him. Finish him off as our T100 LT comes to give us a hand. There's a Pershing up there. We're going to aim up a shell at the Pershing. He's standing still. We're going to aim at his tracks. It looks like we aim a little bit high and we only damage his tracks and put them in the yellow instead of into the red so he's gonna pull back and maybe get away now there's a sheridan here the sheridan wants to also get away so we're gonna aim up a shot at him where we think he's gonna be appearing next there he is that we're gonna be able to put it in yes we are we put the shell in a heat shell whizzes by our tank and now we're gonna turn around for the 57 heavy who's trying to get into a position on us now with our current hit points he can clip us out of the game and our team finally pulled the scores back and hopefully we're going to be able to pull a victory out of this one. We're moving in for the T-57 Heavy. There he is. We're trying to, we're angling, put a shell into him. Angles a little right. He bounces one shell off of us. Bounces the second shell. Third shell goes into the dead tank. And it looks like he never reloaded from that one shell he put into the side of our turret. So he only had three left. And now we're putting shells into him. As the T-100 LT is coming over to try to give us a hand. He puts a shell into him. We put one more into him. And now we're just pushing against him. There's really nothing he can do. And now we're going to jump on top of him and finish him off with a little bit of a smush. Death from above, guys. If we didn't have that achievement, we would have just gone up there. And uh, I'd say that was a pretty good result. Um, did we ever get penetrated in that entire engagement? No. We've still only been splashed by the artillery this entire time, which is pretty hilarious. Um, E5 is, well, a pretty powerful tank, guys. We're up to seven team damage ribbons, three kills. I know one of them was a smush. It wasn't. The, uh, I don't think all those go to damage. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. So is it 17 penetrations, or is it 16 and a smush, or is it like 14 and a bunch of smushes? I don't know how it works, but we're up to 17 damage ribbons anyway. Aiming up a shot at this guy. Unfortunately, the shell goes low. He's pulling in front of everyone. Instead of getting shot by the one tank behind him, he's chosen to get killed by everyone else in front of him. Interesting move there by him. Unfortunately for us, we could have gotten two more shots into him, but instead we're going to change our attention to the artillery. Oh, there's the T1. There's a Sheridan. We're going to aim up a shot, maybe. Nah, it's not going to go in. It was a speculative shot. But remember, you miss 100% of the shots you do not take. So we decided to take the shot anyway. Now we're going to load up some HE because we're going after that artillery because everyone's after that light tank. And we figured, eh, maybe we can get an extra kill if we go after this artillery unit. So we're loading up some HE and hopefully we'll be able to find him. There he is on our left. He pulls away from us, unfortunately, but he's going to be driving straight into us. All we have to do is make sure we don't put this into his tracks, and it goes into his tracks. Uh, is he going to be able to reload and put a shell into us or even aim? That is a good question. We're just going to stand still, and... Oh, he gets it off right as we fire, but we finish him off, giving us 19 damage ribbons, 4 kills, 2 assist ribbons. I can't say how many spots that is, but a few critical hits as well. Um, yes, T1 1085. First game... Uploaded to the YouTube for you guys with the T-125. 76,000 credits made. 7,300 damage done. 2,400 damage blocked. 500 damage assisted. Mastery Ace Tanker. Uh, our first Ace Tanker to be featured in this tank on the YouTube. In fact, our first time in this tank on the YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please tap that like button, comment, and please subscribe. Um, especially if you want to see more. If you guys want to go check out the live stream, we are streaming right now as I was filming this. So it might be over by now, but if this video just came out, then it's still happening right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Take care. Check out Gunna Dingy. Check out Space Bandit. Links in the description. And peace out.